Ladies and gentlemen, today I need to talk to you about batteries. There's especially beginners buying new BNFs or building a quad and then not sure what battery size, how to charge them, how to store them. And those are frequently asked questions in our groups. That's why I made a video today. Watch it until the end. Maybe you'll learn something. If you like it, leave me a like or I see you next time. <laughs> To charge multi-cell batteries, we need to use a balanced charger with a balanced charging program. Since we connect a separate balanced plug from the battery, the charger will not just attempt to reach a simple total voltage, but actually monitor and charge each independent cell with your setup maximum voltage of 4.2 volts for most batteries. Charging without a balanced charger is not recommended since the cell voltage of a faulty battery could rise into a dangerous area above 4.3 volts, which is a safety concern. <laughs> to choose the right battery for your build or BNF is not that complicated. Small drones have a 1-cell or so-called 1S battery with a lower voltage, where bigger drones go up to 10 or even 12S. Commonly used batteries for 5-inch quads have 4 or 6S, which has to be supported by the electronics and has to match with the motor specification to get the correct motor RPM. The next factor would be the size or weight of the battery. Bigger batteries have more capacity and should have more flight time, but due to the higher weight, your motors and propellers also have to spin faster to get enough lift which is less efficient and drains more power and lowers flight time. You also have to consider that overloaded motors will get hot and don't fly very well. The most common issue being throttle control, which makes it harder to control your altitude when cruising over the ground or objects. Batteries should be charged at 1C or 2C which stands for one time T capacity in amp hours or the double. That means you can safely charge, for example, a 4S 1500 milliamp battery with 1.5 up to 3 amps, as well as a 6S 1500 milliamp battery with 1.5 up to 3 amps. It's independent of battery voltage. <laughs> Batteries should be flown up to 90% of its capacity. That means if you fully charge your battery to 4.2 volts, then check your OSD while flying. A 1500 milliamp battery should be back on the ground at 1350 milliamps used. Since those small amp meters on your ESC are not perfectly accurate sometimes, besides the fact that old batteries hold less power, you should also always ensure to land above 3.5 volts per cell. For a 4S battery, that would be a minimum of 14 volts. For a 6S battery, that would be 21 volts. <laughs> Batteries should be stored at 3.8 volts if not used regularly since every lithium ion battery will self-discharge about 1-2% to per month, do always make sure to do periodic checks, especially in winter and cold storage. Batteries should not be stored below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit. But even a charged battery can suddenly have a failing cell, as you see in my example with one cell at 0 volts. Battery cells should have a low internal resistance, which mostly indicates its performance. Modern balanced chargers can display the resistance each cell while charging. New LiPo battery cells should be below 10 or sometimes even 5 milliohms. Lithium ion cells like an 18650 are a little higher. You can easily find a bad cell in a battery pack by its extreme difference in voltage or internal resistance. Old batteries will have a resistance above 50 milliohms, which can drastically decrease the output current, even if they can still deliver a good capacity. 
Damaged batteries that got punctured or ripped apart in a crash should be safely disposed of. Carry those batteries in a fireproof bag and fully discharge it if possible before you bring it to your local battery recycling center. Batteries that were only slightly deformed in a crash can be safely charged, confirming a normal internal resistance and voltage balance of each cell. If it starts to smell like rotten eggs, then your battery has a leak and it's not safe to use. Could even cause a fire, especially the hydrogen sulfate responsible for that smell is very unhealthy to breathe in. To wrap it all up, buy the correct battery, which is usually specified by the manufacturer of your drone or electronics. Buy a good charger, don't buy a cheap one. Charging batteries is a fire hazard, there could go something wrong store it at storage voltage and broken batteries, discharge them and bring them to a recycle center for batteries.